Yeah. And a lot of it going to be relying, it, it kind of looks like, as to where Poppy can, like, maneuver himself around, right? And, like, who he silences up first between where they're... The question is, I guess, if they properly predict where it's going. And to the rune would be the most likely spot, so Yul will pay for it. I think he got the deny, right? Yeah, he denied the rune. Uh, it's not the biggest Earth rotation, but this is gonna... Yeah, it's now that he's gonna be forced out of the lane a lot, and there's gonna be a lot of rotations to protect him. Free IO, you know? Yeah. That shouldn't happen, though. That's bad. It, yeah, a little bit was sloppy there. there. Well, considering how, like, I mean, they even had, like, the ward down, they knew this whole rotation was coming in the first place from the smoke, Yul died at the rune, maybe just an extra one for free there, as, uh, we also know he's dead, but... I feel like this is gonna be a huge problem for them, because he's gonna play a big part in this game. Being level 1 is not good. Wow, four so heroes bottoms, now. they die, Pasha. Man. And, uh, team, one TP gets cancelled, and so does the second, I mean... I was taking some stacks, but... I was we're gonna go for a roar kill on Envy down bottom. And uh, maybe an unfortunate time to come and be aggressive here as PCC shows up and he's just instantly annihilated there. So a little unfortunate feeling safe thanks to all the vision that they did have there up in the lane. And now with the rotation coming down from the IO as well, just bringing him right into the proper spot to make sure that won't go right. Just that, you know, just want to get a couple kills like that. Yule Center will be up soon if he goes for that first. Um, it's going to be the item here, but the, the whole nighttime thing from Poppy, whereas they're maybe a little bit more passive themselves, just going for like this blood zone on TZ, not quite done yet. They, they will get Yule. And LSA comes through, but knocking me out to save is there. Uh, full five heroes mid as Bubble makes the TP2, so they want the rundown on BZZ. RTZ coming in here. LSA not going to be on the mark this time. Woo! A little time lapse there. I'll make sure the uh, Weaver will stay alive, but. Ulti comes through from Illidan, RTZ turning his back and be able to walk this one off. Yeah, I don't think this will play here. Um, looking for the IO, of course, go over the big burst down, nice to play it there. Taking down the targets in the correct order here, Puppy will drop and now Envy also in trouble as well, potentially. I'll take that trade though. Yeah. Uh, Puppy like to try and fight, they don't want to be super passive. The want to be super passive, you have four in split shot already and you have like two in mana shield. Yeah, not the most common build these days. RTZ just out of tower there on a Yul. Another ulti here from Illidan gets denied at the tower, but the, uh, they got the ward down by the camp, so they don't have this nice in-between one. Did backing away. But Illidan's got some backup here. Again, another ulti being popped off here. That nice low cooldown. I'm gonna keep him alive. Bubble gets caught in the stone form, potentially, or he's just stunned by something. It's kind of hard to tell there, but either way. <laughs> Shark he goes through on the BCC. Violet eyes in here with a finger of death as well, but coming through his Iron Man. Evan the saves and the heals. LSA coming out of RTZ while the Roar goes on the pilot die, and now RTZ trying to turn himself away. Dead here from the Radiant. After he gets the destruction as well. And it looks like they can just easily clean him up here. So, summon army. Necro's in tow. Way more effort to studying enemy wards too. Like, a lot of opponents will like look up who they're up against and say, okay, they're always using the word at the start. Um, or in the mid game, they love putting this jungle vision going on here. And Well, there's that counterplay point even more moot, but you know. <laughs> yeah, there, secret uh, maybe getting of... punished a bit here. Like, you can test the Roche study yeah, because they don't have bling. He'll run into Pasha. Do we have a hawk available? No, no hawk no, no, available. No, no, hawk, oh, no. they got him. Um... Uh, I still dead. Okay. Base, at least. Necros are like, don't have like the biggest catch quite yet. I mean, they do have the blink up on Pasha, so that's been alleviated somewhat. It's away from like that whole just Necro Beastmaster Iron Man going for the TP here, but Pala Dai showed time. I mean, oh, god, he is tanky. It takes a while to bring down, considering two of them, but... just stopped hitting the wire off. This, um... I want to say this, like, Manta Maybe first build was the one that was being, like, criticized. Am I right at the Major? Oh, uh, I on there, but... Yeah, I can't remember either. I, I don't know, there was a lot of uh, talk about Manta Medusa being hated. Two items you do not get online until afterwards. Yeah. And this game is completely different because you have these items at 5k gold at 28 minutes. Wow, she is shredding. Yeah, she has the aura to back her up as well. She can do damage right Yeah. Alba caught me LSA. It'll be okay though, so. Emmy's in here. So look at his ulti, but it's a level 15, which is kind of important here. Well, I have to be just a little bit cautious. And our teeth. So dropping a little bit low on the man here for Illidan, but Iron Man still having that mech, still only a couple charges here on the stick. He needs to have an upgrade on the well. There's our butterfly. And they really do. Well, Pilot Knight comes in. Here at Spike. 
And there's the finger of death. Okay, so one done. A little bit of their control elements here, the setups for the LSA, and they're starting to move around. This is that vision play that you're looking at here, ignoring Illidan, looking back line. RMN, nice little relocate out, but BZZ has been abandoned. Wow, that's some difficulty of mid laner. Yeah, it really was. I think they had to there though, like, there's no way they win that fight, even though Juicy gets the butterfly delivered. Secret, you know, they play around the vision game and the Fantastic Five kind of pay and they're not as far. But it's always hard, nighttime, night docker, you can't do anything funky here, you're just walking into vision. Do you not? For this though, it's radiant. I feel like the other play, I guess Poppy's doing a little bit of zoning work here. RTZ is still going in now, and heading on up. RTZ in there too, there's back and forth, blah blah, onto really two with a double goal. manner at Spike. Nicely played by Pilot Die. So everyone around Illidan and Focus will come out. Envy trying to be the first target. Sign a drop low, Illidan doing his thing and not dropping low on the mana whatsoever. RTZ doing what they can, but Boba also dropping low. He might just die here to the split shot, tries to go to the wall, but cannot find an escape pattern. Now Poppy running into BZZ, gonna slow him up, but RTZ comes back in. Oh, it was the courier that went down. Okay. Yeah, Shiva's delivered, so no five then to just slow it down so the respawn. Then they had to already be out there when the like 10 seconds picked over them. They were the ones starting to play aggressive and I really bite them in the ass now because they don't need Aegis on you know, on her, so they give Athena. I think it's a good decision. Very important to fight, but giving her away here is a big mistake. Oh, it's nice Aegis. That I mean, he could beast. drop it when one of them's about to get used like a four staff and then somehow slide up and use it for golf, right? There you go, that's why. Oh, there's a roar on the back line on Poppy again, playing very aggressive here. Brought down by the Necros, but yeah. same time, it's Iron Man being brought down here by Eternal Envy. A right click, to hit. nice stay with the disruption, and now Envy being turned around after already using the time lapse. Kasha kind of through. Is under attack. There he goes. And that's why you Eternal need to keep one item did that job for him. But to be playing Radiant's with him and getting the back line, so which without blink on Adizi and in a position where the trees are quite hard, it's not easy to get to. I'm just a decent vacuum, but again, you can still follow up. Look, look who's up here, like, it's uh, not exactly much worry here from the side of the yeah, Fantastic Five. Look at the, the man change! There's just more damage than anything else on their team, and he's Yeah, it actually yeah. does. Uh, Arteezy, uh, taking the heat here. That looked good, Blade. It's back up already. So they're gonna have to be a little bit worried here at TZ, trying to keep his distance. Still level 15, but you know, 16 here easy BZZ with that Agnes step. Bubble comes in here with another vacuum into the full Earth Spike and the Shock from Ari. Here's the damage, the Whirling Depth. Our team is suddenly shredding through the back line, so Beastmaster and the Shadow Demon go down. Gem on the deck. Puppy takes damage from the right clicks as well. But holy! Alright, combos are real. And now into RMN as well. Ooh, missing the chain there from our TZ. Bit of a whoopsie oh, no. there. Yeah, it should be okay. One more chain coming through, and they got him. And that's, that's the gem. Falba can grab that up here, or someone drop your TP. But BZ is the prime target now. Shockroom, one more here. BZ trying to juke, but TP's not even left heaven. Yeah, let's say far back there. And so the double kill for TZ. That was a over that octarine core that's very popular, there, but definitely damage needed here. So it let in. He is the wall. He's in the front line. And Artie's gonna ignore him. He's going for the back. He's looking for Iron Man. Wants that big IO. He's been fishing out so many of the heals here, but the roar comes in on Envy. They found the targets that they want there. Breaking the Lincolns and down he goes. 68 seconds. He has the buyback. He's gonna use the time lapse to come back into this fight. Top of Illidan. Illidan popping the ultimate now. Going on towards Balba. BZZ. He's running back into the fight. Trying to use Illidan as a shield here. And it looks like it's gonna work. BZZ still living. And Illidan is going to town on Puppy. Brings down. Good finger death in the back line. The BZ drops low. But again, he's just vaulting his way around Illidan. But RTZ with that Agnum Zephyr able to now get the damage to bring him down. And looking after Nine Pasha. Gets him with the temper chain. So they have successfully ignored Illidan and killed everyone else. But now the big BP beast herself will be the target. And it appears that they no can matter, actually easy. do it. Oh, that's true. It is getting a little bit low here. Bulba also weak on the side, but Envy, at least he's got the right clicks to back it all up. No mana required. And a monster kill streak for our TZ. Uh, one thing is, Illidan has no TP. Yeah, he's been playing uh, without it late, but sorry. Yeah. The hate on right now, so I guess they have the relocate right, but they're coming to the back lines and you talk about Envy changing up his playstyle, that's another thing, because with this Octarine Court now up for our TZ makes that last fight. He can definitely go for these weaving in the, the trees, right? And just let our TZ kind of be the main focus. perfect point. angle as well. It, their only hope is just one scout to smoke. Looking for it, and he's still back there. Edith's TP this game, you know? No, no envy plays here, so 
In comes Pyla, I die, and he's still going to work here. Illin up on the high ground. Supports very far back. Not Pasha actually going back to the base to try and deal with Envy, but it's too late. The racks are gone. So while we're watching this down bottom, Envy has successfully well, cleared out off. Yeah, he is going to go down though. And uh, they'll bring back the relocate, but. They have to take this fight with the relocate. Like the Radiant do. If they can somehow get this where they have the numbers advantage, if they save their racks, they can hate. Just another come back in though. Yeah, this was, I think, the expected play, but Arteezy, he's on to BZZ, Puppy, he's dropping down, he'll get killed by the Deuce at the same time, they'll get Yul there with the Finger of Death, only he's left now for the uh, Finger, but it be for long, Arteezy, nice little double shock and plays here, a little bit flashy, as Bulba comes in to try and help get the skill into RMN, runs up behind the shell, and Pilot actually gives him the Earth Spike, so a little bit of free reign here for Illidan, but it's Nine Pasha who makes a little bit of an unexpected return. And we'll get Shockram down immediately, not too sure about that one. Uh, not taking the same route as Illidan, who just wanted to get back here. It's just straight up. At least we're full tank here. Maybe wow, not. and he just finds Aramid. Okay. Really good start. That is a very good start. And Illidan's kind of in the they middle are. of all this, too. Where is the rest of the team? I mean, they're going to the Roche Pit, and what are Arteezy going to do? This is a tough call for them. They're actually going to leave. They're going to the Pit. They want to see what's up. They've lost Envy though, so their main damage dealer gone, and now they're going to play as well. So they're going to lose Bulb up on the high ground with that Maybe Necro. Just have a little bit of party. Yeah, we're maybe your mid fight here. So just chase down BC, a big kill there, and he will get it. So now Illidan on the chase here. Nice little blink there. Best hope is spamming her out with Dagons now, I suppose. Like, it's a really good pickup on the Timber, but. Yeah, this has been his own lately uh, that he's been going for, where after the Austrian core late game, he'll swap out uh, and head into that. So you, you absolutely have to. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is that he hasn't got Blink, but that's a personal preference thing. I think he's been playing really well without it. The only time I think you really need Blink is when the fights are taken in a pace. Or you're split pushing a lot. Look how fast he dies though. I mean, yeah, he has What's uh pretty much from... Special the Ultimate Mana. Is the big thing. There it is, Elden walking up and that is the Rax, so... Really safe though. Was that the uh, Beastmaster Refresher, or whose was that? Bulbous. Oh, Bulbous Refresher. So, not you warding this ward, even though they haven't got Pilot Eye. So they don't know they're there, perhaps. I'm not sure, but... Now coming through, Illidan, and uh, Envy has the free slot with a DD rune, hoping that he can get something onto this Rapier. Okay, he actually just took some TPs now, but... Gem on the deck, Arteezy. Dropping a little bit low here. Now Bulba, the big target, the man with the Refresher. No chance to even use it here. And no one dead from Dire Side. Now Pasha's still chasing. Super risky, but no way they wouldn't be allowed to do this and hit the And he's not quite helping out yet. He's in that back line looking for his own moment here. Find a timer. That's good, that's good. Start. But Our another disruption. Low now, so they have time to get the rocks. Yeah, that's gonna be mad good here by the looks of it. Elden seemingly unkillable and unstoppable. So, although Envy's still in the back lines, well, he was, as he gets annihilated by the Laguna Blade. It's all about the buildings. It's objective gaming here. And Illidan Dota. What, what a rapier pickup. I mean, that was some pretty well-timed stuff, but overall just a pretty good execution. Yeah, there were some mistakes, but yeah, overall in terms of like the lack of 4 protect 1 drafts that we see these days, it seemed like it was fairly well played here by Fidesz. But... I feel like with more secrets brewing off than... I didn't credit them at all, because Illidan played amazingly. I played him keeping farm up his execution in fights is good. I think his team kind of made it a lot harder for him at times, because... Yeah, the positioning was weak at times, for sure. And I also don't feel like it's easy to fault, but his farm was not able to be, like, kept up to a level this game. And it didn't really end up mattering in the end, because he was basically equal to Envy, and he's still doing a lot of damage with everything he had. So, I don't know, I just feel like... It was more Envy and, like, okay, the, the first buyback into time lapse was really a team fight that killed the team. I don't think they got anything off it though, so it was a heavy investment to win that team fight with very little collateral.